Hi, so in this video I'm going to explain the basics of how the music engine works, which I've just put into Skylight, which basically creates randomly generated music as you hit platforms in the game. So I've just made a short level here to give a basic demonstration. So I'll play. Now at the start you've just got piano notes, so it's pretty simple. As you continue on, you'll get more and more notes triggering when you hit platforms, and those notes will harmonize with each other. demonstrate if I do it again you can hear it's different these ones by the way just play some piano stuff if notes are playing it will harmonize with them or I should say actually the notes will harmonize with that So, this explanation is going to end up covering music theory more than anything else. The basis of the music engine is just a big bank of samples with the file names named according to the note they're playing and then separate groups for the piano notes and bass notes. So there are seven notes in a standard major scale before you up an octave and it starts repeating. So that means there are seven categories. I haven't split the categories by pitch, like a low A or a high A or whatever, so it's all just mixed in. The whole game is in the key of C major, which means the main scale is just the white notes. So I just need the basic keys A to G. I'm not doing any fancy chords or anything, because it means I don't have to record so many notes. The music engine always has a chord it currently wants to play, and when it's time to trigger a note, it'll always play sample files that are notes from the triad of that chord. So the triad is three notes, the bass note of the chord, then two notes up, and two notes up again. Basically because those frequencies are nice whole number ratios of each other and that's what the human ear likes to hear. So the C major scale is C, D, E, F, G, A, B and back to C again with no black notes. That means a C chord starts on C, then up two to E, then up another two to G. D will be D, E, F, G, A. So D, F, A. E will be E, G, B. F will be F, A, C, etc, etc. Right up to B which is B, C, D, E, F, B, D, F. Now, some of these sound different than others, and that's because the notes have a different number of semitones between them. So if you count up, including the black notes, the C chord is plus one, two, three, four to get C to E, then plus one, two, three to G. So that's a major chord. But the D chord is only plus one, two, three to get to F, then one, two, three, four to get to A. So that's a minor chord. E is minor, F major, G major, A minor, and then B is a bit different. It's plus three on both, which makes it A diminished. And of course you can translate all this into any key and get the same result. This is just based on C because C is simple, as there aren't any sharps and flats. So major chords are kind of happy sounding, they sound like this. Minor chords are less happy, they sound like this. And diminished chords are sort of the arrival of the villain or something, and they sound like this. Now, I don't actually allow all these chords in Skylight. The music engine has a subset to choose from. 
the most common choices if you're implementing this yourself in Western music are the first, fourth, fifth, and minor sixth. So basically, if you're in the key of C, you'd mainly want C, F, G, and A minor as your chords. Anyway, so you land on a platform, and the engine is called to decide a few things. It always plays a piano note, which comes from a separate bank of piano note samples. For that, it selects a note that matches one of the three notes of the chord. Actually, before that, it might change to a new chord, but it doesn't change chords every time. It might also play a bass note. There's only one bass sample for each note, so there's only seven bass samples, and it'll always play the main note of the chord. The chance of playing a bass note increases as you progress. At the start of the game, it won't play any bass notes at all. Then it'll also play any number of samples from the main sample bank that match the current chord. It's basically random, but it's constrained to a range, so it might be 0 to 2 sounds at the start and 4 to 16 at the end. The next thing is that I don't want the notes to cut off too suddenly. If you cut them off straight away, you'll tend to get a big click if it's in the middle of a waveform, and it just generally doesn't sound very good. So most of the samples are quite long, so they can last at least the time it takes you to get to the next platform. And then for most of them, they've also got a bit of a fade out at the end, so that they don't just suddenly cut off. If you can do looping samples that last forever, that would be even better. Sometimes samples need to be cut off early because the chord changes. When the chord changes, the music engine lets notes carry on if they harmonize, otherwise it does a smooth fade out which randomly varies a bit in length. When notes come in, they also have a small fade in from zero up to about two seconds long. Finally, there's the ability to lock to a chord. When you hit one of the piano key platforms, all the piano samples are playing based on a C chord, so they lock the chord to C and don't let it change until the sample's finished. And that's how they always manage to harmonize with the music, but you will notice sometimes that some notes fade out when you hit them, and that's what's happening. <laughs>